This video is for DBT Cloud administrators who want to set up role-based access control for DBT Cloud with Okta. By the end of this demo, you'll be able to set up a group in DBT, assign permissions for a group of users, and map the DBT Cloud group to a group in Okta. Role-based access control settings in DBT Cloud are important. They ensure your users have the right permissions in DBT via the single sign-on or SSO flow. You'll need to have a DBT Cloud account with admin access and an Okta account with admin access to complete the steps in this demo. You'll also need an enterprise plan in DBT Cloud and a developer license. Let's jump in. To begin, sign in to your DBT Cloud account in one tab and sign into Okta in another. In DBT Cloud, in the Navigation Preview view, you can get to your account settings on the left navigation menu. Scroll down to the bottom and click on the company name and then account settings. A second navigation menu will appear. Find Groups and Licenses and select it. This is where you will create your groups. We'll create a new group for admins called Account Admins Only for this demonstration. This is the name of the group we're going to create and map to Okta. We need to add the SSO mapping group name as well. Notice this name is case sensitive. It has to be an exact match with the value you have in Okta. The value here must match a value in your identity provider. This is important. Once we create the group name in Okta, we'll come back to this field to finish the SSO mapping between systems. When that's complete, we'll move on to the next step, which is specifying permission sets. Let's go to the Okta admin dashboard. Here you see a menu with options on the left. Select directory from the menu, then groups from the dropdown. Create a new group by selecting Add Group. Give the group a name. For this, I'll do Account-Admins. This is the SSO mapping that goes back in the DBT Cloud SSO field. Give the group a short description. Group for Account Admins in DBT Cloud. Hit Save. Refresh the screen to see the group you just created in Okta. You can see that there are no people in this group yet. You can assign people to the group and also applications. Let's start with applications by selecting Assign Applications. I'm signed into my existing DBT Cloud account, and now I can select it. Now that's done. So let's go back to DBT Cloud. In the SSO field, type in the group name, which is Account-Admins. Since this is an account admin group, under Access and Permissions, we're going to add the account admin. You don't need to add any of the permissions because the account admins have the highest level of permissions. Save and close this out. For reference, in this demo, I'm showing an account admin group, but you can see a full list of roles and permissions on the DBT Docs website. You can also see the account level permission sets and decide which ones make sense for your group and mapping. For example, let's say you want to create permissions for a developer and you only want that group to access specific projects. You can select specific projects, for example, analytics. Once you add someone to a group in DBT Cloud, Okta will send a SAML response to our application when they sign in to DBT and they'll be mapped to their group automatically. Back in the Okta dashboard, click on the group you created and select the People tab. Next, you want to specify the actual users in this group. So let's start assigning users to this group. Let's say Sophia should be in this account admin group. You can add her into the account admin group by selecting the Assign People button. Hit plus and now she's assigned to account admin. Mark it done. Now you'll see we have Sophia marked as an account admin in this group. 
On the identity provider side, you've completed setup. Now, when someone who's part of the account admin group signs in to DBT Cloud, they'll be added to the group automatically and assigned the correct permissions.